Ocean City is the latest shore town to crack down on crowds of drunk, rowdy teens. Passing an emergency ordinance today in response to gatherings that wreaked havoc this past holiday weekend and last summer. Placing restrictions on everyone's access to the boardwalk and beaches. Ted Goldberg is in Ocean City where the mayor and council held a press conference with more details. Ted. Brianna, major restrictions are coming to the beaches and boardwalk here in Ocean City. As of today, the beaches will be closed at 8 o'clock and boardwalk bathrooms will close at 10 o'clock. This is following a busy Memorial Day weekend for the police here who say they responded to nearly 1,000 incidents over Memorial Day weekend. Those incidents range from underage drinking to vandalism to assault. These restrictions were approved by City Council earlier today after an emergency session with more ordinances possibly to come over the next few weeks. Leaders say these changes might seem a little bit harsh, but they're necessary. All of us here need to look in the mirror and take responsibility because this isn't a kid thing. This is us. We're adults. We got the gray hair, some of us, and we have to promote and we have to educate, but we also have to call, hold accountability. And that's the one thing that we're not doing. You know, everybody wants to be Facebook friends and, you know, I, I, I'm not going to go after parents either. I'm just thinking of how I would do it as a parent and speaking for myself. Because we don't want to arrest any kids. We don't want anyone to have a record. We don't want them to have a good time. But when they know that they can come down and do what they got to do and all the police were able to do was give them uh, curbside chats. Where's that going to go, curbside chats? We did this in Seattle. We have, we have the curfew. If we don't have law and order restored in all of our shore towns, on all of our boardwalks, we are going to have pure chaos. And I'm going to tell you, we are going to lose the gems that we have, not only here in Cape May County, but in all of our shore communities. I can tell you when I talk to law enforcement, they say to me, Senator, we just want the handcuffs taken off of us. We just want to be able to enforce the laws that are on the books. Ocean City tourists and locals are split on how they feel about the new rules. One thing they can all agree on is that it's unfortunate that large crowds of misbehaving teenagers force leaders to make these changes. It's a shame, but I get it. And um, I guess, you know, people have to decide, you know, are you going to be, um, be safe and have, you know, have these all in, in force? Or are you okay to, you know, chill out and, and uh, relax? Just seeing how much more, you know, police have to be out and how, you know, they have to be patrolled and so forth. I don't know if it'll work. I, I imagine it will to an extent. I hope it does. But I mean, this is kind of a quiet, family friendly place. And to see what was going on was like, I, I was shocked. I don't know, I don't like to see the restrooms closed at 10 or the fact that you have to think about having a backpack and all of that. It doesn't surprise me, um, Ocean City being what it is, a small dry island. Um, I don't necessarily think all of it is necessary. I think that not being able to have a backpack is a little bit silly. I mean, you have people that are gonna be getting off of work and having their belongings from the day. I mean, I used to go to the beach and have a backpack and get dressed and go to work right after on the boardwalk. So. Limiting people in that aspect, I don't think is necessarily the best thing. Um, I don't mind the curfew. 8 p.m. seems a little bit early. The restrictions on beach access after 8 o'clock are for everybody, not just minors. And one of the ordinances that could be passed over the next few weeks would move up Ocean City's juvenile ban from 1 in the morning to 11 at night.